Hey, what's up, peeps? It's me, Callie, and I'm going to, um, <clears throat> to be playing another game. Uh, first it was Cleverbot, now I'm playing, um, Forbidden Love, I think it's called. Uh, it's a dating sim, and I've never actually played, uh, dating sim before, so let's go ahead and get started. It's called, uh, Forbidden Love, The Unforgivable Couple, and, uh, I haven't really read much about it, but uh, let's just get started. Ah, it's a bit of a late introduction, but I'm the guide for this game. Johannes Gilbert, uh, it's nice to meet you. The story starts from here. Enjoy. My brother in a suit. We surrounded by a crowd of people in the center of the party hall. Everyone congratulated my brother for the new business opportunity located overseas. Guest A, Michael, you've come a long way. You'll do a great job following your father's footsteps. Hired by the New York branch straight out of university. Guest B. The future of Jones Corp is very promising. Mike. Haha, <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves. Dave, you don't have the time to be saying naive things, Mike. Don't forget that you're going to be taking over the Jones Corp. Oh, gosh. It's not like you have to have the intention to hand over the position anytime soon. Dave, I'm just telling you to be prepared. Mike, couldn't you see me off more cheerfully? The people in the circle around him started laughing again. I was away from the center of that fun hall and was drinking orange juice in a corner. Yeah, that's what you do. Big Brother today is different from usual. Okay, so I'm guessing we're his younger sister. He's kind of cool. Linda, why are you hiding in a corner? Ah, mother. So I guess Linda's our mom. Why don't you speak with Mike? You know, you're also a fully fledged member of the Jones family. Yeah. Mother said that, but it wasn't so simple. Having entered the Jones family as a child from my mother's previous marriage, I always ended up holding back at times like this. I'll do that when then when there are less people. Oh, all right then. Linda, but that boy's really grown up into a fine man. You think? When I first met him, he was just a timid little thing. The boy will definitely su succeed. Can't even freaking talk. Dot dot dot. My mother was always like this. After separating from my actual father, she has been with countless men. Ooh. However, all of them had been rich. Hmm. The value of men came from whether they can make money. He was always looking at men and only deciding on their value to her based on that. And only said, okay, whatever. Linda, you need to catch a man as good as that, too. I'm not like my mother. At that time, I heard a noticeably, and noticed the, n whatever, high-pitched laugh in the center of the hall. Guest C. Amelia, you'll be spreading your wings in the world together with Mike, then. That's wonderful. Oh, I guess that's Amelia. No, not at all. I'll just be there supporting Mike. That was Amelia, my brother's fiance. She was a model, and she was behaving graciously in clothes that were flashy enough to make it seem like the party was being thrown for her. Well, look at that. That's her mom. Uh, unlike you, Amelia seems to understand how to act in high society rather well. Dot, dot, dot. I'm going to take a breather outside. I didn't like the atmosphere inside the party hall, so I went outside. Repeated repetitive. The fickle laughter didn't follow me outside. There was a gentle wind blowing, and it felt wonderful. Huh, as I thought, I'm really not suited for this sort of world. Everyone always seemed to expect something from my brother, and they looked at him with smiles. When they looked at me, their smiles were somehow strained. It's not like I wanted to be a child from a previous marriage. Oh, so you were here. Eh? 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 I turned around when I was called out to, and I saw Tom Nicholson approaching me with a red face. He's the president of a company that did business with the Jones Corp, so I had talked to him with, with him a few times before. Ah, good evening. Tom, why are you here all by yourself? As expected, being inside there must be tough for a child from a previous marriage. Dot, dot, dot. Tom was acting different from usual. Sorry, but thumbs get in the way. He wasn't the sort of person who would say something like that, and he was a bit over-familiar. Tom, you're so much sexier now? To fuck, where's his head? As expected, blood will tell. Please excuse me. Well, Tom, well, it's nothing to be so unkind about. I got something very good to say to you. Something very good, is it? I say. Tom, yes, I'm thinking of giving you this much every month. Well, he said that, Tom raised one finger. What do you mean? 
If you're going into university too, you want to play like everyone else and be stylish, right? But Mr. Jones is a strict man. He won't give you money for something like that. Dot, dot, dot. <clears throat> so then, I'll be your daddy long legs, what do you think? Might have been because he was drunk, but Tom said that with a very lewd, lewd gaze. I don't know if he was that. You and I understood what he meant by daddy long legs. Well, I'm, I'm not right now. I'm fine. I have no interest in that sort of thing. I tried to leave, but Tom tightly gripped my hand. I don't like where this is going. It's not a bad idea, he says. You're a child from a previous marriage. It'll be difficult for you to share the Jones' family power in the future, you know. It'd be easier for you to be the obedient lover of celebrity like me, like your mother is doing. Oh, dot, 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 exclamation point. I suddenly raised my hand, but I stopped myself just in time. The person is a business partner of the Jones Corp. He might do business with Big Brother someday. What, is it enough money? It isn't enough money at all. Are you missing one digit? Well, well, well. That greediness must be from your mother. In the first place, I refuse to be a lover who doesn't know when she'll be thrown away. If you really want to sleep with me, please sign a marriage license from a form and bring it to me. Okay, um, I really should have read more about this. Hey. Though, if, though that's just if you really meant what you said. That, give me some time to think. Tom suddenly looked conflicted and went back to the party hall. After seeing him leave, I sat down like I was crumbling. I said some amazing I said something amazing on the spur of that moment. He won't actually take me seriously, right? The worst is Mike. <clears throat> the voice came from my brother, who was standing with two glasses in his hand. Big brother. I came to find you since I was worried that, that you looked a bit off, but my brother looked both angry and sad as he handed me a glass of water. So you were the sort of woman who would say something like that. You're mistaken. Earlier, I was just... I thought you were different from that woman, but... I expected your mother and daughter. After saying that, my brother turned around coldly. Well, guys, um... I recorded for about seven minutes. Um, I think that's about enough for today. Um, I'll record more tomorrow. Um, 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 um... There I go again. I'm Kelly, and I'll see you later. <laughs>